We're checking out Trials of Fire today. It's not many of you have heard this one before on stream, but it is a roguelite deck builder. I'm going to say thanks to the developer Whatboy right off the bat for the sponsorship. Just came out on Epic and GOG. It's been on Steam for a while where it has very positive reviews. And, uh, yeah, exclamation point trials and chatter. Scroll down in the video description to check it out for yourself uh, as well. For now, we will en engage the battle tutorial before embarking on your first adventure. There's some unique mechanics you must learn. I might consider moving my camera real quick. Something like this. And then also lower my volume in the game. There we go. Over the course of your journeys across Ash, you will encounter monsters and hostile denizens of the land. Combat is turn-based and requires the tactical use of your party's skill cards to defeat the enemy. Each hero brings a unique deck of cards to combat representing their training, innate abilities, and equipment. To win a battle, you have to defeat all enemies until their health is reduced to zero. Everything your heroes can do, is battle, can do in battle is driven by the skill cards they have in hand. Skill cards serve as your available actions and also the resources you will need to pay for these actions. Each member of your party has their own hand of cards. The color of the top of a hero's cards matches the color of the hero's counter on the battle map. Okay, so blue is the warrior, I believe, or unless she's like a rogue or something. And then green is our hunter here. Your skill cards are very versatile, as we will see, but we will start by trying some basic things. You now have four cards in hand. Sure, all right. We got a swipe, melee attack two. We got a block, defend four. We got a ranged attack three. And we've got move two and gain one willpower. Right. Um, I'm just looking, okay, we got you, charred warrior with six HP. Let's do a, a little block, if you don't mind. Let's do a little swipe, if you don't mind. Let's do uh, a little power shot. And then I will advance two and gain one willpower. I have no idea what willpower is for now, but that's okay. <laughs> Excellent. Don't worry if you didn't get everything straight away. Fair enough. When you feel you've done everything you can or want to do, click the end turn hourglass to finish your turn. Click on the hourglass below to end your turn. I do like a game with some hexes. Each of your heroes will draw three new cards at the end of your turn. Now let's learn about willpower. Willpower requires... Oh, so it's like our mana. Okay, fair enough. You should be able to finish off one of the charged warriors with your power shot card. Uh, you're not wrong about that. This card will cost two willpower. So you will first need to generate two points of it. Any skill card can be recycled to generate a single point of willpower. So recycle a card from your hunter's hand. Okay, so you can discard cards for mana. Now use your power shot. I, personally, I would rather use my, uh, my swipe. But if it's got to be done, then it's got to be done. I'll follow the tutorial. We have eliminated your cards from the deck. Any hero can also recycle a card to remove uh, to move two spaces on the board. All right, recycle the remaining swipe card. You should now notice your hunter character is highlighted, indicating that he can be moved. All right, personal. Oh, you can do combo strikes because I was gonna say I don't think I want to get every character like my range character too close to my uh, tank. But if there's some combo attacks, so be it. Use your remaining swipe card. But first you need to recycle. Get owned with a simple combo strike. Hopefully you noticed your hunter joined in. Uh, I do not take offense to that. Power cards are a different kind of skill card. Rather than having an immediate effect, power cards give your heroes ongoing bonuses. As before, hover over the adrenaline card and re read its tool tip. Every time you play a card that does melee damage, gain one willpower. Um, this seems like you could scale out of your freaking gourd here. So let's uh, move two and gain one willpower. Hold on. I, I'm, it says you need to recycle, but I'm like, you don't need to recycle on this one. 
Can't you just move yourself on this one? Am I losing it? Bueller? Why do you call it adrenaline? Um, what can I say? It's just the kind of guy I am. Well done. I mean, I struggled a little bit with the tutorial, but thank you. Finally, we come to the third way to use your recycled cards. Hover over the recycle shrine for a reminder of the different uses of recycled cards. You can always refer to this tooltip in future battles. Try this now. Your hunter is still undefended, but you can use one of your remaining cards to protect them too. Any recycled cards that are unspent when you end your turn get converted into two defense for the own for the owning hero. Okay, understood. How much damage do you do? It's because it comes from your adrenal glands. Absolutely, and I'm spent. Each hero may hold on to one card to prepare for the next turn. Of course. I have two defense, you cannot harm me, plus you don't appear to be shooting anyway. Gain one willpower at the start of your turn. Melee attack for two damage, we have two defense, so you look very stinky right now. Okay. You can force an enemy to discard an active power by damaging that enemy. Tutorial complete. Look, come on, I'm ready, here we go. Now, now we've got uh, an elementalist as well, my favorite uh, CBS television program. Powerful. The first card you play each turn costs... Did it say negative one willpower? <laughs> okay. Now now the gloves are off. We have zero willpower. This is, I, I'm realizing now, is a little bit more complicated than your average deck builder, right? Because in other deck builders, you get three mana per turn. Maybe you get items or cards that are augmented. In this, you get zero... Every turn you must decide on what to discard in order to generate the actual mana for yourself in order to play the game. So I like advance. You move two and gain one willpower. But before we do that, before we advance with our hunter, let's discard a swipe to get this. Then swipe so our combo strike finishes the job. Look at that. And we get willpower every time she swipes to begin with, so we, we shouldn't have discarded it to begin with, but it is what it is. Okay, prepare, gain one willpower at the start of your turn. Absolutely. Then, we, we already have some willpower. All attacks deal plus one damage. This also does not cost willpower. My god. We advance to gain some willpower. Power shot costs two. Okay. Now you, why don't you also advance to gain us some willpower? Although I suppose we could have saved that for our next turn. Yeah, it's like a 3D board game. I mean, all deck builders kind of inherit mechanics from board games, I think. Whether it's Dominion or something, you know, more kind of opaque in nature. More eldritch. But uh, this in particular, it's, it's, those systems seem exposed, which is really cool. Deal three damage and inflict burning to all characters in target area. Magic attack two to a target within three spaces and the one random enemy within two spaces of the target. Or swipe melee attack two. Um, well, I think I'm going to power shot. Oh, this is blocking it. Hmm. All right. Um, well, we might as well force missile you. Are you not within three spaces? How about now? We still have one willpower. Honestly, I'm like, just end turn. Just end turn on this one. They're not gonna attack me. Gain one willpower at the start of your turn. Melee attack two. Okay, they're gonna attack me, but who cares? In addition to their skill cards, each hero has a unique talent. The first card played each turn costs minus one willpower. Minus one willpower with everybody? Oh, minus, in my head, I was like, minus one is absolute negative one, but it means it costs one less, I think. Okay, unstable blast. Magic attack three on all targets in an indicated area. 
Prepare. Gain one willpower. Okay, so, I mean, I don't mind putting that on for sure. In most situations, you can undo your last action. Try this now by clicking on the shrine. Yo, look at that. Alright, that being said... Um, put that on. Although, I guess we should have undone it because... Uh, no, no, these still cost less. Okay. Magic attack three on all targets... Three damage and inflict burning to all targets within area. I can't believe I can't get you all. I'm still gonna hit you though. Give you one of those. Burning does two status damage at the end of your turn or whenever you suffer magical damage. Okay, well in that case, in my world, I'm like, you dump this swipe. Sometimes you just don't get the cards you need. In your hand, to mitigate this, each hero has a number of redraws. Okay. Try redrawing the cards for one of your heroes now. Well, we certainly don't need a block. Swipe advance. Okay, fair enough. Um, so here's how I think we play this. We advance. Which also allows us to swipe. On swipe, we gain willpower. Because of the power that we have to begin with. We have one willpower. Why don't you go ahead and advance? I think the, the, the eyeball means we're in line of sight and now we can hit them. Ranged attack six. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, and then I'm gonna, let's advance two and then just swipe you. You're dead. I'm the greatest gamer of all time. Victory. Okay, we finally... <laughs> I think I got it figured out. Maybe. Let's let's engage in, uh, in an adventure here. I beat the tutorial, at least. Choose difficulty. Um, man, I mean, how could I not play on hard? I have loads of experience with tactical games, and I live for synergy. I mean, that's me right there. We don't need to start on, on Cataclysm, though. Hunter, this is definitely more like Mouth. Warrior, I would say that's me. And then the Elementalist is Sips. I mean, did you see the stuff that he made in Minecraft? It's kind of uh, unbelievable. Hard is pretty hard to start. We'll give it a try. It, it'll be fun either way. We'll do, we'll do our trial by fire on hard game length standard personal best 0%. The settlement Terralin is dying. You must track down the settlement's leader, Naya, who has ventured out into the Glasslands in search of a powerful artifact. Okay, I continue. To complete your quest to save Terralin, you must undertake a perilous journey over a surface of a ravaged planet. Follow the golden objective marker to reach your next quest. To keep your supplies up and find weapons and equipment crucial to your quest, the party must visit points of interest highlighted on the map. During your journey, you will need to keep track of your party's fatigue and morale levels. Keep an eye on your party's fatigue level to stay in top fighting form. To keep your party fresh, be sure to rest regularly by clicking this image. You will get the most benefit from resting in ruins and settlements where you can find shelter from the harsh condi conditions of ash. Resting requires food supplies. Because of the urgency of your mission, you only have a limited time to complete your objectives. Take your time to explore, but keep morale high. No problem. I'm, I'm ready. Choices matter. I'm very familiar with choices matter. We have some blue question marks. Yo, this looks awesome. We also have some gold quest markers. We have three carrots and six mystic herbs. I make I make my move. I make my move. They're still determined. They're still fresh. We are we are exposed, so we do not wish to rest here. Question marks. In the remains of a human town. You spot a, a peculiar sight. There is a lone rattling overloading a pack lizard with dozens of tattered human garments. Agree to escort her back to her hometown or refuse her offer and move on. I will, I will allow you to join us and escort you back to your hometown. Can I tell you though? Oh, I'm sure it's this arrow, right? Yeah, okay. 
Make your move. Make your move. We're just we're splitting the difference. Hey, hey I don't know if you've taken uh, fourth grade math. You always walk on the hypotenuse. The undulating plains have become craggier with several low ridges ahead. Ascending the final ridge, you see a series of fiery fissures and craters spewing volcanic fire and sending burning black rocks into the air. Um, I will see if Sips can use her elemental powers to cool the rock. Peering down into the fissures, Mouth spots some skeletal remains on a shelf near the lava flow. Sips focuses her thought and draws the energy from a nearby fissure so that Mouth can approach safely. You examine the loot. A leather shield, okay. And healthy wood. Sips, thanks for using uh, your levitating powers to create some healthy wood. I really appreciate it. Now, if you don't mind, our, our warrior, which is me, has our deck, but also... We get an... Okay, so the equipment is tied to cards as well. All right. Also gives us one extra armor. Each point of armor provides one additional health at the start of every battle. Morale can also affect armor. Okay. Let's, let's examine this, uh, this campfire. You enter a settlement that feels like it's been recently abandoned. A number of houses have black marks painted on the door. There's a man ahead wheeling a cart piled with bodies. Bring out your dead. I investigate a couple of the empty houses. Behind the second door, you find a large delusional man convinced you're here to murder him. He stands up and grabs Mouth, begging for aid. Mouth has gained a trait, Fire Lung. <laughs> on draw, deal one unblockable damage to this character and every adjacent character. Mouth has become ill. I thought Fire Lung was going to be much cooler than that. A permanent addition to your hero's core deck. Whatever. It's unblockable damage. We'll just find a way to block it. The party has been traveling non-stop. Now would be a good time to try to rest before your heroes are too tired to fight effectively. You're crazy. I mean, you're going to make me do it, but... Uh, I, I Look, they're determined and fresh. They got green bars. Although your mission is urgent, you'll need to stop now and then. Every time you rest, you'll consume one food. You can use the downtime and resources you've collected to improve your decks by choosing one of the camp activities. Try to do this whenever you can. Okay. Um, I cannot heal Malf's injury, but I can possibly upgrade an item. Uh, although they all have X's next to them. Insufficient materials. Okay, well in that case, uh, I choose to uh, just rest. And break my camp. Can, uh, can you just make sure it's closed? Because I, I hear the phone out there. Thank you. Hello. Hello, baby. Did you see the photo that I sent you? I, I did indeed, yeah. Very good, right? It's a, it's a great photo. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> Hello, honey. Uh, Hello. Uh, Appa. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's always like, show baby, show baby. Didn't someone say great, what was it? Show, great, great show baby? I think they said NL show baby. Oh. And I thought they were like, NL show baby. But instead they were like, NL show baby. Yeah. Mm. Hello, honey. Uh. Brrr. Uh. Brrr. Uh. Brrr. Bye-bye. 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 She seems a little shy right now. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Our, our side quest is ready to be uh, completed. You have done it. Click on a hero to level them up. Uh, I mean, come on. You got to level up the... You got to level up Malf here. Drag a skill card from below to replace one of your old class skills or click on a card on the left to uh, replace it. This is a, it's a good question. I don't have an, an answer to right now. But I will say uh, advance has been pretty good. Every time you play a card that deals range, da range damage, gain a willpower. Power shot is better. 
Take aim. All attacks on a single target deal bonus damage equal to the resilience of this power. Melee attack two and draw a movement card from your deck or discard pile. Bone Wolf? A summon. Can perform combo strikes in response to ranged attacks and all combo strikes deal plus one damage. Um, <laughs> I'm like, how, how could I not try to take the Bone Wolf? And uh, I'll replace maybe like... Um, a simple swipe with a bone wolf. So I guess you're stuck at nine cards, which is actually, that eliminates a level of complexity that honestly I think it, it makes a lot of sense right now. Oh, hello. I, I, I believe I have eaten the carrots. Uh, a local trader. You can get some sturdy bone or a broken charm if that's the kind of thing that interests you. For now, I'm like, I'm okay with this. Hello, honey. <laughs> Good wood and sturdy bone. What can you say? Oh, we're going to have to go around this. You come across a clump of rocks with some hardened spiny vines jutting out from them. Epic reward, but a 33% chance of injury? Absolutely, we take an attempt. Sips tugs on the vines and manages to pull away quickly to avoid the burning debris. Epic reward incoming. Some Makarin armor. Some treated leather. And a leather jerkin. Sounds like you should stop pulling on it so much if you get a leather jerkin. Okay, if you'll excuse me. I know you got some armor on you already. But I think we gotta go ahead and give you the, the purple. Which has given you new rewards as well. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I would prefer him out, but... <laughs> okay. Having a little cat drama today. Um, let me see. You are wearing leather rags. Now you are not wearing leather rags. Um, excuse me, what are you wearing? Cloth rags? Would you like to wear some bone armor? Why not? Looks pretty cool. How are the cats dealing with the baby? The cats are fine with the baby. They're like, you know... They're, uh... They're just annoyed by any kind of, like, ambient noise and then also the heat, which is totally fair. But because the cat brain, um is not necessarily uh, the most incredible thing that uh, evolution has ever created. The way that they respond to any stress in their life is by burrowing into the most dangerous places in the home to hide. Like, he, he just tried to get under the board game shelf, and now he wants to leave the... Uh, he wants to leave the office that he just fought so hard to get into. Anyway. Out of the corner of Mouth's eye, he spots movement. He looks around and is shocked to see one of the shadows moving across the wall. Without any warning, one of them detaches from the wall and approaches. Its body made up of a strange, inky s substance. Oh. Dude, the transitions are so good. Okay, Mouth, I apologize, but I did give you the fire lung. <laughs> we have zero willpower. Okay. We got new cards, too. Quick step. Move two, then draw. Advance is move to and gain willpower. We don't even know what these guys do yet, so... Double strike. Melee attack two, then melee attack two. Strike through. Melee attack three or ranged attack two. Also hits anyone directly behind the target. If you hit them, gain one willpower. There's a lot to consider here. I think... It's always nice... Oh, you're the... Okay, so oh, I was just looking at the layout here. It's always nice to advance. Because you move and you get willpower. We'll try to keep our units somewhat close together so that they can actually uh, get some advantage out of each other. We have two willpower. Wild swing. Melee attack that does three to six damage. 
Deal three damage and inflict burning. Magic attack. Okay, so if you're going to do this, you should try to burn first. Because then they take extra damage from magic. Can I attack this and then hit you? No. Okay. <laughs> just take a just take a breath. It's a lot to process every time. I would like to move, but you only move by getting a discard as the person you are playing as. Or as the person that discarded. Fire lung. You know what? Can I get a can I get a redraw on our uh On our warrior. Thank you so much. Adrenaline. Every time you play a card that does melee damage, gain willpower. Hold on. There's a there's a play here. We move into combat. This costs us two. But every time we play a card that deals melee damage, gain willpower. Then we discard. And discard. So that we can play Wild Swing. It does 3 to 6 damage. It gains willpower as well. Then we hit you with an Unstable Blast that does not work. Okay, then we... Discard Unstable Blast so that we can make a move. And use our last willpower to light you on fire. Named effects go on in battle. Okay, so there's status effects. We looked that up last time. Okay, he's actually done it. I've, I've used all of my cards, maybe not in the most efficient way possible, but an attempt was made. Okay, they're sneaking. They gain stealth. They're moving and gaining willpower. Move and gain willpower. Melee attack for two. I'm not sweating it. Move and gain willpower. So you guys just kind of like go forever, huh? You just kind of like, you, you just spend the rest of your life moving. Um... So what is stealth I'm assuming is I can't attack them. Can't be targeted by enemies unless they're adjacent. Oh, well I am adjacent. Every turn you also get melee and a move unseen card. So we do have the bone wolf. There's no denying that. Your first card costs less. And we can actually you're not burning anymore. I think we can kill you, or at least... Well, excuse me, where's where's your combo attack, uh, Madam Warrior? Magic attack two to a target within three spaces and to one enemy within two spaces. Hold on. Hold on. Sometimes you just gotta think, okay? Sometimes you just gotta think. Oh, you don't get combo attacks if you're flanked. Defend two after performing a melee attack. Definitely should have done that first. But here's what you do, okay? I believe in this. We make a move, we get some willpower. Summoning skill cards can add an extra creature to the board. Makes sense to me. This gives us a willpower. It costs us one, but it gives us one. Force Missile. No combo if you're surrounded as well. Fair enough. I'm gonna try to get some movement in here. Which unfortunately means I'm... I'm removing the... Uh, the Bone Wolf temporarily. I'm also gonna redraw. Power Shot 2, Ranged Attack 5. What if we dump swipe? Can I hit you? I cannot hit you. I think I'm about to get my ass beat. <laughs> hold R? No, no, not yet. I mean, we got two power here. You don't hold R on that one. We can at least do a little bit of damage to you. Block costs zero, so that's an easy play. We got we got a little armor. Hey, man, we got a little armor. This should definitely have been on from the get-go. This we can just hold, I suppose, for next turn. Melee attack four. He 
Is cat jam still enabled? Um, I don't know if we ever had cat jam here, um, but we we used rat jam quite a lot. You can you just type exclamation point rat, or not exclamation point. Oh, we have ruka jam. You just type like the first few letters, and then uh, use tab to auto complete. Congratulations, you have drawn your first heroic card. Heroics are powerful one-shot actions you can use to swing the tide of battle. It can only be played once per battle. Okay. All attacks deal plus two damage this turn. Draw a random damage card from your deck or discard pile. Okay. I will. All attacks do plus two damage this turn? We don't have enough willpower to play it. Fair enough. The first time you play a move card each turn, draw... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Move four and gain willpower. This is a gimme. We're always going to play it. We're also always going to play advances. Get combo struck. This is not the best opportunity for advances, but that's okay. Do you have a melee attack four, ranged attack three? Do you not just have like a basic swipe? I mean, I got no problem just smack it. It just seems like a little bit of overkill. Combo strikes. No, we, we went through that part of the tutorial already. Yeah, autocomplete on Twitch is like an actual game changer. It changes everything. Okay, we're going to do a quick couple of advances here. Like, I don't, I don't know any emotes. All I know is the power of autocomplete. We'll now finally play our heroic card, like, way after we probably should have. But still... The, the triple combo strike. Now we're talking. And she gets her willpower back. So we do it again. Yo, the notorious KIJ. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. I think I'm going to discard this. And just smack you. We get a little combo. No combo on that. Okay, fair enough. I hate it when I want to type Pog, but then autocomplete just makes me at some guy that's called Pog out of my gourd 67. <laughs> it does that. I, dude, the other thing is autocomplete is so good as a moderator. Like every once in a while, it happened during the Mario Golf segment. Someone said some messed up stuff. I didn't want to alt tab. So in my head, I just committed like the first four letters of their name. And then when I went to the bathroom, I typed slash ban first four letters of their name and then just hit tab until the uh, until I recognized them it was a dream come true okay we need to do nine damage to you it shouldn't be a problem because here's what you do okay move to draw a card boom we advance Get some willpower. Why are we moving like a weirdo? Because by moving like a weirdo, now we can get a triple attack on you. This is free. Okay, he started... It, it's like XCOM mixed with Slay the Spire. Look at that. He's got it all figured out. We can do better next time. We, we, we got the general gist of it, but we can do better next time. Click on a hero to level up. I'll give that one to Sips. Um, draw power. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Draw one and reduce its willpower, willpower cost to zero. I will do that and remove a basic uh, swipe from the equation. I will also take a nice bone longbow. We're starting to get stronger already. An iron rot rod. I guess we could just hit take all, huh? They're determined. They're fresh. I didn't say their names, but you know who I'm talking about. Rusted plates. Armor three. Armor two. You should take the bone longbow. I guess via equipment, you could spec your characters to have different kind of... Uh, have different... Uh, cards in their deck so maybe if you get like if you take a bow instead of a spear you get another ranged card if you take a spear instead of a bow you get that piercing attack wing smash magic damage one and push four on all adjacent enemies 
versus Bone Sword, which gives Double Strike. I have to be honest, Double Strike's kind of good. Quality one, no quality. Oh, it's an offhand. Yo, even better. Okay. All right. By the way, if you're enjoying the uh, stream so far, you can type exclamation point trials into the chat. This is Trials of Fire. Very positive reviews on Steam where it's been out for a while, but it is also 20% off. Now it's on sale and it just came out on the Epic Game Store and GOG as well. We're starting to wrap our head around the mechanics a little bit, <laughs> at least a little bit. You enter a settlement and immediately hear a commotion ahead. You quicken your pace and spot several rattlings with weapons drawn, forcing a columns of humans to turn over their possessions. Intervene? Shop? We will, we will intervene. Absolutely. Get out of here, rattlings. Six damage plus bows. Dude. Mouth, you gotta stop drawing fire lung. But you know what's nice? It's negative because it's unblockable damage, but then you do get to recycle it for, for some willpower. Rattling Bowman. We do have a power. Every time you play a card that deals magic damage, gain power. Yo. That's a, that's a gimme. Magic damage one, push four on all adjacent enemies. Any targets that take damage, discard a card. Yo, now we're, now we're talking. Here's what I'm thinking right off the bat. You move up two for willpower. You move behind. See, we're starting to move a little faster, too. Look at this. Okay, we got three willpower. Force missile cannot hit. That hurts. However, hold on. The improvised attack can. Wait, maybe it can. Am I stupid? I am stupid. Look at that. It totally worked, and it also returned one willpower to us. We don't swipe. We don't wing smash. Let's discard a swipe. And then redraw. I don't know what I'm looking for here, but... <laughs> Agile. The first time you play a move card each turn, draw a card, gain two defense. Some of the easiest money ever made. Keep wing smash. Okay, you cannot harm me. Now we let them go. Oh, advance. Advance, advance, advance. Yes, please get into a column. Ranged attack three. I'm a sucker for when things get hit and they have physics applied to them. On like a board game situation. Like I know these are just little pucks here, but it's like it's visceral. <laughs> I believe that's a row. Mm, it depends on your, your point of view. We're getting actually torn up here. That was, that was a staggering amount of attacks. Might need to find a way to put up some more blocks. Okay, but hold on, hold on. Defend two after performing a melee attack. You get a little bone wolf. No matter what, we'll take a block. It's after playing a move card, you get some extra value. Okay, hold on. You definitely play. Force missile redeems itself on willpower. Oh, we need. Okay, we need to get willpower first. Fair enough. Force missile redeems itself on willpower. Also killed an enemy. You have four block, which is good. I'd actually like to see you redraw. Like maybe. All of these? Because when you play move cards, you get defense. Heightened senses as well. We'll see about that. Move two, then draw a card. Is, look, it's a little spooky. I wonder... Here's my master plan, okay? Okay. What if we summon a bone wolf? What it <laughs> I wanted to just summon it out here in the hopes that it would uh maybe take some aggro off of the the warrior here? I don't know. Seems okay right now. <clears throat> Uh, 
As long as you just keep shooting the bone wolf, I, like, I don't really mind. I do mind that. Freaking bonies. They got bone bows and all sorts of other bad stuff too. You can now use your summoned units. They're activated for free once per turn. Okay. I choose to hit you for two damage. I wonder if we can get a combo attack going on that first, though. Like, check this out, okay? Quick little advance. Quick little draw power. Make, uh, make flame fan cost zero. Discard your unstable blasts to get closer. Use a flame fan to light him up. Bone attack, combo strike. Okay, it totally worked. I am a genius in all ways but the literal. We have one enemy remaining on this. There's like one more rat. Oh, there's one more rat chilling down here. Chilling down here. Move four and gain one willpower. I will. Thanks for the willpower. I am still going to play Hide and Senses, which I should have done earlier. All attacks will do more damage. Every time you play an attack that does melee damage. Hold on, okay. Dump Wild Swing. To get a move. It's a lot to focus on, but we're getting it. Because check this out. Next thing. I'm just, I'm just going to play it to ice you. That didn't even have to happen, I think. Improvised attack on you. And we can't afford power shots. So I pass my turn and substitute my own. Shoot. Don't, come on, not the... Not the warrior. That's the only thing I ask. Just not the warrior, man. Uh, heal shot. If the target has three or less... Oh, headshot! <laughs> Two different things. I, I thought it was heal shot and I was like, oh, I'm gonna shoot my own teammate with that. Uh, not my finest move. Anyway, uh, boom, headshot. Oh, it doesn't matter. There's a combo strike from the from the dog. Thank you for the torn satchel. Shuffle two cards from Shiv, Simple Shot, and Guard into your deck. The next time you draw cards this turn, draw one extra card. I may. Uh, I, I take all the loot. <laughs> Tainted Skull and the Shaman Rod. One of your heroes has lost a lot of health. Hover over your food resource for more information on how to heal them. Like, we're in a camp right now. I think we just rest. Upgrade items if possible. Everything has a uh, an X over it. We don't, we don't have uh, enough materials. So I will uh, just rest. Restores two health. That's not really that much. You're at 5 of 10. That hurts, though, because now we used it for just one individual. Yeah, the game has a really good sense of, of presentation. I'm very impressed with, the, with the, the way it presents everything. Oh, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to level up. Um, tax deal plus one damage per adjacent enemies. Move three, then inflict weakened. Melee attack two, defend two. Defend three at the beginning of your turn. On play, defend three. Now we're talking. Put that in there instead of a... I was going to say instead of a guard, but maybe instead of a swipe. Because we don't... Uh, the guards are from equipment, I think. All right, then. Tainted Skull. It must be equipped on Sips, right? What the heck? <laughs> what about this? The Shaman Rod. Gives you Flame Fan? Oh, you already got one. Okay. Take me back to the map. I will hit every question mark. Dude, the loot is out of control. 
Probably avoid that big pterodactyl. I try to climb down the dangerous sinkhole. Ryan finds himself in a cavernous cellar. It releases a pungent gas that I can't help but breathe in. Malf's gonna have a field day with that one. I have lost 4 HP. Team's still doing well though. They're eager, they're fresh. And we're about to complete our first quest. Help out the nomads? No, I refuse to help because the quest is right here. <laughs> As you approach the ruin, you spot an immense shape flittering above the broken buildings. Given its height advantage and the sparse terrain around, there is no way of approaching without being noticed. Sure enough, even though Malf tries to approach with stealth, the Devil Moth suddenly pauses in midair, then darts quickly in the party's direction. Excuse me, the Devil Moth? I don't even like uh, normal uh, moths. Bosses receive bonus willpower at the start of each turn. And all powers on a boss will start with extra resilience, meaning they take more damage before they're discarded. It's pretty bad. Free powers must be equipped every time. Okay, this is really good. We got to start with some advances. Move two, gain willpower. Move two, gain willpower. Then, Adrenaline is a gimme. Anytime you do melee damage, gain willpower. That makes so many cards free. Uh, I think we will discard these two. Try to get our... Elementalist involved in the equation here. I'm gonna discard this swipe. I'm gonna discard this run. In order to land a power shot. That at least will hit you once. Look at that. He's learning, he's learning. Okay, this is what scares me. Move to any free space and magic does more damage. Defend two. Melee attack two. Not a big deal. Melee attack two. Melee attack two. All right, that kind of sucked. And, and their power has been discarded as a result. Fair enough. Quick step. Move two, draw a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, Resilience. Defend three at the beginning of your turn. I do like it. Um, we can summon a Husk, but I choose to discard that. Wing Smash is a melee attack, I think. Do we want to do a push yet? I don't know. I don't know. They can go anywhere, so... I think... It's demonic pact. All attacks deal plus one damage and gain two willpower at the start of every turn, but you take two magic damage at the start of your turn. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure that's the uh, that's the right play right now. I'm gonna start with a wing smash. We did not get our willpower back. Well. We should play Resilience. I think that's like a gimme. And Demonic Pact we don't want. Force Missile's not quite as good. So let's summon a little Bone Wolf out here. And then pass turn. At least the Bone Wolf can block some damage. Attacks deal more damage per adjacent enemy. Move to any free space. I, I take it he's not going to attack the Bone Wolf. Pull enemies towards a target area in the center. Melee attack three. Thank God we had some block. Okay, this isn't so bad. <laughs> this is what it's all about here. So we want our warrior to get here. Very nice. Now we got some combo attacks set up. We must play Hide and Sense. So that we do extra damage. This should pay for itself on willpower. And we got the triple combo strike. Discard. Redraw. Swipe. Pays for itself and we get the triple combo strike. Oh, you gotta get the Bone Wolf in there! Okay, we broke his power. Bone Boy gives us a, a quadruple combo strike. Draw power. 
Look at the top two cards. Whatever one you grab costs zero. We have to try. Well, I mean, I guess we could do Eldritch Grasp. One sec. You should swipe. Dude, this is going pretty well. Every time you play a card that does magic damage, gain one willpower. Okay, hold on. Check this out then. You might... Well, you might as well go here. Now we got one willpower. Discard Unstable Blast. Play Eldritch Grasp. No, play Cantrip. <laughs> play Eldritch Grasp. Where are you going? You move that way. I get willpower back. I have no cards. Maybe we could have redrawn there. Whatever. That, that was a high damage turn for us. I'm, I'm impressed. Who do you attack? You do, you've done nothing. You've done nothing. Wing Smash is pretty annoying. Might hit us into the wall. You really think I won't push you up against the wall? Move to any free space. Okay, our warrior is very far away. Which is Omega annoying. But you can discard Fire Lung. Dude, ranged attack 5 is no joke. We need to get the energy for it, but that's no joke. Life Siphon. Deal 3 unblockable magic damage. Draw a card for each enemy hit. It also gives us our willpower back. I mean, I think we advance. Make some space here. Unstable Blast. Also, we'll refund our willpower. Bone Dog. Hold on. I think you discard this. Move up one. You can't... Bro, come on. You can't power shot when you're right next to an enemy. Everybody knows that. Then you get your bone in here doing damage. Then you get a swipe up here. And we have killed the boss on hard mode. I just unlocked three achievements. I'm the greatest gamer of all time. NL, don't play hard. It's too difficult for you. <laughs> I don't think so. I got a legendary item. Oh my god. The first time your talent triggers each turn, refresh it. Whenever you draw or create a card and your hand is not full, you could create a duplicate of that card, but your maximum hand size is reduced. Ravi's Mantle? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, or Soul Gem, a legendary crafting material. It's all good. I'm, I'm going to take the helmet, man. Give me the legendary helm. Minor protection potion. 21 gold. We have three levels up. What is signal shot? Ranged attack, ranged attack three, then activate all other friendly characters. <laughs> Gonna be honest. Don't even know what that means. Move to any other friendly character. Yeah, okay. This I like. I hate, I hate to say it, but I'm like, maybe I like it. No, the Bone Wolf was killing it, dude. Dump one of these improvised attacks. That's good stuff. Bulwark. Defend seven. Move two to target melee attack and immobilize. Move two, gain one willpower, then pull all enemies. That's exactly what we want. Take that instead of a, a wild swing, because those are so expensive. Bone Dog is ready. Defend four on any character. Move to any free space within three spaces and gain willpower. Anything that is move plus gain willpower, that's that's the way I live my life. Continue to follow Naya's clues and find out where she's gone. I was just going to say, could you please provide me with some food? We now have three food again. Everybody's tired. Whatever, I'm moving on. Let's go take their supplies by force or rest. Let's rest. Now they're, they're feeling good. Don't forget to equip your stuff. You got legendary items. They give your hero a permanent combat bonus. Build the rest of your loadout around maximizing that bonus. Excuse me. 
Oh, there it is. It can only go on... Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> it can only go on me? <laughs> okay. The first time your talent triggers each turn, refresh it. If you don't like what you got, why don't you refresh it? Okay, now we need to move over this way. I don't know how long the game goes on for. So, am I trying to say that we're definitely guaranteed to win? I think that's the smart money. Um, but if you'll excuse me, I briefly attempt to... Um, on, on our way to a, achieving our quest, if we could free, uh, free some human prisoners, that'd be okay. Take two magic damage at the start of your turn. I, I do not support this. Two magic damage at the start of my turn? Absolutely not. Move four and defend for one space moved. Okay. Mm, I gotta think. Move four, gain one willpower. Move two, gain one willpower. I'm just making space here. First time you play a move card, draw a card and gain two defense. Also, the first time this activates every turn, it activates twice, I think. Move four, defend one for each space moved. Oh my god. Quick step. Move two, then draw a card. It never ends, man. Okay, we still have one willpower. I would like you to get, like, right around here. Definitely Demonic Pact is, is toasted. You could just get there. Now what are we going to do? What are we going to do with our lives? I think we're just going to say, save that lifesteal potion and uh, pass your turn. A hero cannot end your turn with more than two cards in hand. Okay, send it. You're freeing rattling prisoners? Oh, in that case I surrender? Um, my mistake? Oh, you guys have bow and arrows, huh? Is this allowed? Did you know I only recently found out that that classic vine is this allowed? It's not two people engaged in a public display of affection. It's actually a lady and a mannequin. It 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 blew me away the first time I I heard that. Okay, now here's where I gotta I gotta do the float float chart in my head. Okay. The first time we move per turn, we will draw a card and gain two defense. So we should actually draw two cards and gain four defense. Beautiful. And now we are surrounded by enemies, which is actually what we wanted, even though it seems a little strange. The guy, yeah, the guy in the video is the mannequin. I know it seems insane, but every time you play a card that does magic damage, gain willpower. So check this out. Costs us one. Uh, that's a really good card. Hold on, I'm just thinking, okay? Anytime you play a card that does melee damage, gain willpower. We, get, we I'm just thinking, I'm thinking. Dump this Bone Wolf, I know that seems crazy. You gotta play Adrenaline. Then you play a very simple Swipe. That gives you a wonderful combat uh, combo strike, I should say. Um, we then, hold on, play draw power. Take a zero cost card that's going to give you... No, you're going to hit me? How, how dare you? It does three magic damage? I'm, I'm upset. Dump this force missile. Move one space. Unstable blast. Get owned. Now we have two power again. Do life siphon. Draw some car. Oh, that's it's gonna hurt us. Three unblockable magic damage to all enemy targets. All enemy targets in the indicated area. Highly owned. Now we have advance for some extra willpower. We're starting to rebuild. We shouldn't have moved, but that's okay. This will refund one willpower. Magic attack four. I mean, I think I think you got to do a, a quick little double strike on this guy. Ruin his life, for example. I don't know what the heck we did. The first time a talent's activated, it activates doubly, I suppose, is what happened. Um, get owned. 
Something's going right. We don't have enough willpower to do anything else, but but check this out, okay? What if you dump and dump and then redraw? Can't be done. Okay, redraw for cheap cards. Defend two after performing a melee attack. You got armor, so I want you there. All right, just get it up there. Get it up. That's fine. That seemed to go pretty well. Apparently, it's not even a mannequin. It's actually a bop doll. Um... Okay, so a bop doll, I'm being now told, is uh, a hyper-realistic doll designed for coitus. Okay. Asymmetrical coitus. How about that? People are very strange these days. When we move, we get many advantages, as you can see from my crown. Heightened senses is really good. Asymmetrical might be the grossest way to describe it. Yes, I would I would agree. I would agree with this. Check this out, okay? You you move here. We got two willpower. Anytime we deal magical damage, our willpower returns to us. Swipe, our willpower returns to us. You die to a combo strike. Definitely should have played Hide and Senses first. That's my mistake. Either way, check this out, okay? Get torched. Get torched. We got four willpower. Redraw. Advance at least gives us some willpower. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get some aggression here. Three damage inflict burning. I don't know about that. How about I just power shot you? This is not as strong as I thought it would be. It's not even close. It's not a guy. Bozo did the dub. Who? What guy? Headshot would kill. It said if the enemy had less than five... As less than three... Oh, then if the target has three health or less. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Gen generating mana then redrawing doesn't work. It just gives the mana... Or it takes the mana away again. Alright, now that is... Uh, that's unfortunate to hear, but... I, I respect it nonetheless. Here I thought I was so smart. Well, on the bright side, you're now lit on fire, which is pretty good. We'll just dump this husk for a second. After you play a move card, deal zero damage to adjacent enemies. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> Each hero creates two cards in hand. Yo! Choose your card for the warrior. This will be a shiv, please. Choose a card for your warrior. This will be a shiv, please. Choose a card for your hunter. I'll take a simple shot. Choose a card for the elementalist. I think I'll take a, a one shiv and one simple shot. Okay, let's see if this works. That was pretty sick. Melee attack for zero. So this is only useful for creating a combo strike. Because she's weakened right now. Okay, that's fine. Then, finish the job. Simple shot is a ranged attack for two that does not trigger combo strikes. Then a headshot kills you. I told you. Many people have suggested I might be an otherworldly talent when it comes to playing these sorts of games. I wouldn't disagree. I choose to take no card here, believe it or not. Food, 50% weakness. I take the food. And do not get weakened. I simply choose not to be weakened. His E goes off the charts. Oh, wait. I, uh, apparently we are weakened. Mouth becomes envious. If this card is in your hand at the end of your draw phase and you have any allies, discard your entire hand and copy the hand of one of your allies. Am I insane? That seems like it might actually be kind of sick. Protector. Whenever this character defends itself, all other heroes within range 3 gain defense. Uh, hold on, you're not supposed to have this. You're supposed to have this. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just a teen boy. It's not a mannequin. Look, it looks like a human being. No question. All I'm saying is that anytime I've brought it up recently, people go, it's a mannequin. So I'm inclined to believe them. As a result of that. I accept your food and then leave. Thank you. I think I just ate it accidentally. We can't rest here, can we? Oh no, we can totally rest. It's sheltered. Where's your source? People just tell me that <laughs> it's the right way to do it. They tell me it's a mannequin. It looks like a... Yeah, aren't his hands like this? Something's not right. His face just looks like plastic. Yo, don't make me laugh, okay? The kangaroo video is fake. It just hasn't been determined yet. We can forget or level up a skill. I don't think you need swipe. Please forget this. It does take our herb, though. So be it. Up oh, upgrade item. Um, I choose to upgrade our cool shield that we just got. Thank you so much. Next, you're going to be telling me turkey ass is real. There is no world in which uh, turkey ass is real. I'll, I'll level with you on that one. Are you seeing the... Oh, it, it costs us a food every time we do it. I break... I No, 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 no. Okay, that's terrible. I used three of our available foods. Don't, don't get close to me buddy you're burning through the supplies i need more supplies agree to spend the day trying to reach the astral plane no i steal your food instead because i need to i wish it weren't the case but it is they don't think it'd be like it is but it do yo stop chasing me man You seeing this guy? He won't, he won't let bygones be bygones. His eyes move at the end? You could do that with like a raspberry pie. You don't... You, that doesn't prove that he's not a mannequin. Okay, this is a discard. Do we have powers? In fact, all we have is powers. The first time you play a move card, draw a card, gain two defense. That's a gimme. Then, you're going to advance. Just, just move yourself a little bit. This is just for willpower-based purposes. Similarly, you're going to advance a little bit for willpower-based purposes. We now have three willpower. Whenever this character defends itself, all other heroes gain three defense. Honestly, by all means, why not, right? Like, let's just set up. We have three powers on one of our units here. That seems okay to me. Past turn. Envious. Malph has copied the hand of myself. That's not great. We, we can... If we get enough smoke leaf, we can remove that trait, though. Ranged attack three. Excuse me. You shouldn't be able to hit me from that far away. IMO. I mean, what the heck do you have? Like 50 caliber bows? All ranged attacks deal plus two damage? That seems dangerous. Okay, use your brain. You start with draw power. I've I, I didn't play it. Good good start on using your brain. Oh, undo button, undo! Yeah! Just play it instead. Let's go. Uh, okay, at least cantrip costs zero. Every time you play magic damage cards, you get uh, you get willpower in return. <clears throat> I must. I must think. Okay, definitely we do not need that. Heightened senses is not the play. 
I'm not I'm not super convinced of defensive stance. If I could get close enough to land an unstable blast, I'd be pretty stoked. And I think the way we're actually going to do this is we're going to play battle ready. And then you are going to take two guards. You are going to take two simple shots. You're going to take two simple shots. Why would we play it like this? Because every time we guard, everybody in a range of us gets guarded as well. Then we simple shot the crap out of you. Sack a block to move slightly closer. Simple shot you to death. Discard, move behind our cover. I might be a most incredible gamer of all time. Everybody's got block. Everybody's love and life. They're playing powers, which admittedly is mighty annoying for me. Doesn't do that much. No big deal. Look at that. That was nothing, man. Then, now this is something. Move four, dis defend one per space moved. <laughs> oh, baby. Eight block. End aggression. After you play a move card, deal two damage to all adjacent enemies. Get ready for this, okay? We will never play focus. So, play aggression. Use a move card. No, check this. Well, okay. Play a move card. Maybe maybe we swipe first. I don't know. Play play a move card. Two damage to all adjacent enemies. What do we do we have uh, the power that means every time we play a card that does melee damage? Yeah, we get willpower in return. Force missile. You have a power too. Every time you play a card that does magic damage, we got you. So you dump Demonic Pact. Get a little closer. Force Missile. For free. You're dead and uh, you didn't... You're actually, you're not dead, but I did break your power. Life Siphon. Hold on, this is awesome. I'm going to Life Siphon you. All enemy targets. Take three damage. We draw. <laughs> we... Move backwards for fun. And then move any... I, oh, any free space within three spaces. Whatever. We got willpower. I'm not sweating it. We got willpower. Give me, give me some redraw. I guess we have to do it like this, right? Then we redraw. Headshot. I can't hit you. I can't hit you. Discard me and move me back into the fray. Chat, that's not a mannequin. The person who made the vine two years ago confirmed it was a human being. If it's a mannequin, how does his hand move? May maybe I've become victim of this urban legend. I thought it was a human being. But then people told me it was a mannequin. Now I'm starting to realize, like, maybe I was too eager to believe that... Uh, To believe what I wanted to believe. It's not a mannequin. It's a doll. Jesse, what the heck are you talking about? Huge blocks. It's not a mannequin. It's a doll. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just thinking. Yeah, yeah. Move, move to any other friendly character and defend two and then activate them. Oh, this moves you to a summon. Okay, so we have no reason for you to be here. But anyway, you're dead, so who cares? Um, let's dump this wing smash. These will pay for themselves. I just need to get close enough to hit you with like a, an Eldritch Grasp, for example. Yeah, that's good enough. And then if you could just dump these... There is still one unit left, but that's okay. Look at this. Not to be rude, but why would she want a mannequin that looks like that? Um, it was it was the early 2010s. Things were, you know, the standards of beauty were different then. 
There's a video where... Okay, you're, I, I understand now. You're explaining the... Um, the kangaroo video, which I... Correctly, I might add... Get owned. Um, I have some suspicion. I'm not saying it's fake, but I have some suspicion that it could be. And everybody just, um, I mean, they refuse to acknowledge that there's even a chance that it could be. And I, I think that says more about you than it does about me, okay? It's a real video? If it is, then, you know, you shouldn't mind uh, it having even the slightest degree of, uh, you know, scrutiny. You know, it, it won't... It won't fall under the slightest bit of scrutiny, right? I choose to just rest. It's been thoroughly scrutinized. Mm, not by not by my people. Not by my people. Melee attack 5, that target discards a random active power. Yo, that's actually really good. Oh, but you can't equip it. So we'd have to lose the one that gives us wing smash and husk. Oh no. Well, anyway, um, can you equip it? No, you'd lose your flame. I think that's totally okay. My quest. A singular elven figure stands vigil on the path to the ruin ahead. The robed necromancer demands you turn around and leave. After a brief, tense exchange, you discover the elf is also tracking Naya. As soon as Mouth lets that slip that your goals align, a dark fire lights up in the towering necromancer's eyes with dark purpose. Necromancer. Gains plus one magic damage for every summoned character, and all summons cost less than one willpower. Okay, you dump Fire Lung. That's a given. We want to get these powers out there as soon as possible. Plus one magic damage for every summoned character. This is not good enough right now. A Bone Wolf, on the other hand... I could, I could see the Bone Wolf having some utility for us. Don't forget you can undo actions. I'm, I'm trying not to take offense to the fact that I, I did something that I thought was good. And your immediate response was to tell me how to undo it. Is the argument that the punch is fake or that the kangaroo's fake? I, I have some suspicion with the video. It's just because of the fact that when he runs over the kangaroo, like, they, he and the kangaroo both square up like this. And then the one that really gets me is when he socks him with the straight, like right in his face. The kangaroo, he just looks kind of CGI to me when he goes back. He goes like, whoa, and then he comes back like this. I'm just, I'm just saying it. I'm not a kangaroo expert, I'll tell you that. It just looks a little unreal to me. Whether that means it's unreal or not, that's, you know, that's, that's your call. But it looks a little unreal to me. What power do we have? You play a card that does melee damage, get willpower in return. Okay. Well, I, I challenge your stride. Uh-oh, I didn't think you would come this way. Um, either way, we can get a better combo piece here. Mm, can we? Do we need to? Why do you have flame fa Why are you so bad? Why are you... You, you stink, man. You, you're freaking stinky. That's your problem. Okay, move to any other friendly character, defend two, and activate that character. The heck does activate mean? Move two, gain willpower. This is what we wanted to see. Then, that's a beautiful attack. We swipe you. This should combo. Thank you. You're dead. All right. Block is a big one, no matter what. Double strike would also be nice. Can trip is pretty good. Da 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 da. I just hear da 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 da. 
Activate means they get another move. Oh, well, why don't you come back here? Give us a little quick little combo strike. You already have cantrip. No, you have adrenaline? What have I done? <laughs> what the heck did I do? Um, this can go for now. Now, I would like to get to life siphon. Discard this now. Beautiful. Double strike. Little combo strike. Please remove your power. Please remove your power. You will not remove your power. That's fine. I'm not mad. Next turn. NL show, baby. <laughs> Okay, you've summoned a husk. Deal two damage and inflict shock to two random targets. Push all enemies up to two spaces. Okay, my, my bone dog has been destroyed. Obviously, the only explanation is that that woman was kissing a kangaroo. That's what I've been trying to say. Not enough willpower. Fair, fair. Not enough willpower? That's fair. Get this out of here. Play aggression. We will advance upon you to make sure we're killing this summon. We'll swipe you. It's free. We really should have gotten our combo piece there. Like, there's genuinely no reason not to. Eldritch Grasp. Magic attack four. Push the target in a random direction. Can I really hit you? If I, if I can hit you, I'm going to hit you. I just think that it's possible that that kangaroo is like an industry plant. I agree, it's a wholesome video. I would never I would never suggest that it's not a wholesome video. Get owned. The only thing I'm suggesting is that we shouldn't let the fact that it's a wholesome video distract us from the potentiality that is not real. Just because it's comfortable, I think we should acknowledge that, that that comfort might blind our senses a little bit. I'm starting to get the language back here, by the way. Are you seeing this? We got two energy. Hit him. We'll refund one energy. Get rid of this swipe we're never going to use. Can hit you for six or hit you for four and push you. And damage bonus counts double. Okay, well, I'll hit you for six then. Seems to make the most sense. Can I not... Uh... You got two moves left, didn't you? Never mind. We'll do this then. <laughs> Get one energy back anyway. Did you know the guy from the We Shop Wednesday video didn't come up with that song on the fly? It was actually scripted. How did you uh, how'd you figure that one out? Is it the fact that it's an edited video with uh, with camera cuts directly to the exact thing that they're looking for on the store page? I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to think about that one. It's either way I could tell you is absolutely more real than the kangaroo video. First time you move draw a card gain two defense. This is a gimme. Okay, you check this out. Goodbye, Bone Wolf. We don't care for you. Just kidding. We go agile. We go head rush. Thanks for the draw and the defense. And the synergy. Then advance me. Give me um what is resilience? Defend three, costs one. I say yes. Blow to the head forces you to discard a power. That's not that good. Okay, now this is where we start going off, man. Force missile, not enough willpower. Yeah? How about now? Windwalk. How about now? I'm not on I'm not an R slash nothing happens guy. I'm just saying it's literally just 
the the vine video happened it might be a mannequin it might not the jury's still out the kangaroo it just looks strange to me i'm not saying it's fake to say something looks strange doesn't mean that it's fake i'm merely suggesting if you do your research And I'm not talking about Google. I'm not talking about Google. I'm just asking questions. Okay, you, you, sir. You need to move back one. It's too much. Then you need to light him up. Thank you for the willpower. You need to light him up. You love to see it. Protector's pretty good. But I think Wild Swing, melee attack that does three to six damage. That would be a fun show. I, I would love to be a part of a show where um, HBO gave me money to go around and see if uh, viral videos are real or, or fake. Perhaps somewhat selfishly, I think to myself that that would be a lot of fun. Um, I think, dude, Protector is pretty good with all the other synergies we got going here. Just dump that. Okay, this guy's, this boss is toasted. I hated the David Chang food show with Seth Rogen. I, th so I'm assuming this was you. There was somebody in chat uh, about a week and a half ago that wrote about 20 times about how much they hated the David Chang, Seth Rogen episode of Ugly Delicious or whatever that show was. Um, and then there was no response after like the first six times it was written the same way. So then it, they started to make it a little bit more gentle. They were like, I didn't really enjoy that show you recommended. And then I thought we were over it and I ignored it for like a week and a half. And now you're back to still, you're still talking about the David Chang, Seth Rogen episode of Ugly Delicious. It wasn't intended to stand up to that level of, uh, of scrutiny. It was just kind of something you put on, you know, when you're cooking dinner or something like that. Now I feel like it's, you, you, it, honestly, it just seems like you kind of had a chip on your shoulder when you started to watch it. Now that you're talking about it, you know, two weeks after the fact, almost. Okay, hold on. Ba battle ready will pop here. You play battle ready, the hunter gets two simple shots. This is a really good card. You get two simple shots. I honestly think our warrior also gets two simple shots. I think this will work. We're going to hit you. We're going to hit you. I can't hit you. I have, I have no moves remaining either. That's fine. Whatever. Give you a quick simple shot. Give you a quick simple shot. Discard two cards. This card cannot be recycled. Okay, in that case, good good redraw. Good insanely good redraw. Is this allowed? Is this allowed? Head rush. Move four, defend one space per space moved. Dude, we're, we're popping here. You might as well block. You know, he's not doing anything else. I went back and watched the Jay Willies episode of Kitchen Nightmares after you talked about it. Can we talk about the episode where the guy's taking money from his son-in-law? And then tells him he doesn't have a job. Is that the the um, the crazy Australian uh, burger guy? Willy, Philly, Nilly. That that episode is insane. It's actually so insane. It. It has uh, people involved, well, viewers of the Kitchen Nightmares uh, television program thinking that it must be a fake episode because 
if it's not a fake episode, the man stole $250,000 from his own son just to make a restaurant, and then the restaurant sucks. Like, that's a complete disaster. That episode was staged. The dad was a mannequin. Listen, okay? I'm not, I'm just, for those, I'm just imparting secondhand information. For the kangaroo video, I'm just asking questions. All I'm gonna say is that if that's fake and he's Australian, you know what else is Australian? Kangaroos. So it, it really starts to make you think that, you know, if you start to connect the lines, like how stupid do they think we are? Soul gem, which can be used to upgrade our crown. Yes, I take. We got we had so much good stuff here. This helmet is hilarious. Okay, okay, hold on. It appears Naya has been here. Sips point out some points out some writing carved into a stone slab by the point of a weapon. The writing is a message to any voiders following and describes where Naya has gone next, leaving a trail. Like, this is a dangerous gamble, but you have little else to go on. New objective. I think we may beat the game on our first attempt, because I'm just, like, so much more amazing than I thought I would be. I thought we'd be getting our butt kicked, but that is not the case. Ice Lance. Inflict chilled on all targets in an area. Deal double damage if they're already chilled. I, I do, I like your deck already. I'd love to spend some time on it, if you know what I mean. But sure, let's take an Ice Lance and, and dump this Force Missile. Um, but I am going to, um, before we level up again, I'm going to run uh, to the bathroom. Just one moment, please. I'll be, I'll be right back, I promise. Okay, I have returned. Um, we still got a, about 90 minutes to go in Trials of Fire here. Hopefully it gives us time to encounter an enemy that can handle the tactical Ascension 20 goodness of yours truly. Um, exclamation point Trials in chat. This is a stream uh, sponsored by Whatboy Games to celebrate the GOG and Epic launch of uh, Trials of Fire. I have to keep saying, uh, in, in my head I'm like, don't say Trials in Tainted Space. Anytime I say trials, that's like the first thing I, I think of because of all the gifted subs from back in the day from people who tried to get me to play those cursed games. Um, you can check out the link there. 84% positive reviews on Steam. That's in the very positive camp. On top of that, 20% off right now. Would you look at that? Hold on. We're always going to be lining up. I'm realizing now advance kind of sucks. Even though I keep uh, preserving it, there's some, there's some strictly better versions. And then uh, you're seeing it right here, you know? A s rich, story-driven, different-every-time adventure um, with a little bit of FTL. 
a little bit of uh well we should equip all our stuff by the way i'm, I'm very silly right now a little bit of ftl a little bit of slay the spire there i suggest even maybe a little bit of XCOM as well warriors can wear oh you can't wear that you already got the coolest helmet of all time it's a little bit of hollow knight mm, is it though is it is it though i don't think so you can't wear the bone helm bro why did i get all this sick stuff you can't even use it we do have a cool crossbow now what's up with oh but we've updated this oh, get me out of here this is what a disaster. Anyway, 50% new follower. You're not entirely sure if a risky plan will work. However, by the time you return, the crowd has begun to disperse and the lifeless body of the hybrid hangs limply against the deserted building. I'm going to go ahead and guess that we probably didn't get a new follower then. Um, I will purchase some carrots. I will purchase some more carrots and a broken vessel. Ah, I'm, I think I'm good. Fast reader. Uh, with six carrots, I will rest. I really want to uh, get rid of Mouth's envious nature, but it is what it is. Select a hero portrait and then an item on the left to add one of its cards into your deck permanently. Uh, oh, we, I, I'd really like to do it with Duntog's crown, but it is what it is. I'll tell you, I do like removing cards from the deck. Like, I, our Elementalist, she's getting strong as heck, man. Unstable Blast is okay. I think we could dump an advanced card, unless we wanted to upgrade it. No, the upgrade is not that good. There you go. Forget it. Take a quick rest. Break camp. Keep it moving. How can he hold two bows? Oh, he can't even use it. Oh, he can use a crossbow. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, that gives us a ricochet. Target a space with an obstacle to perform a ranged attack against a random enemy target with line of sight to that space. Shoot at something non-Marty in nature. And the shot will hit Marty. You are moving through a desert-like landscape. Battle a, a colossal worm-like creature with spike scales. To receive a legendary reward and food or attempt to retreat. I face the legendary creature, of course. It is 173 HP. You have encountered an elite enemy. After performing a melee attack, the target loses all defense. That's pretty bad. Worm tail, worm body. Yeah, this is not great. Um... But, hey man, what if, uh, it, uh, um, just don't worry about it. Dump these, redraw. Head rush is not what I'm looking for. Just move yourself up to there. Just trying to get everybody, like, reasonably... Close to some degree of cover. Yeah, you could uh, blast your team, I suppose. C can we get some more redraws, anybody? Redraws? Cantrip is one of the cards we would be looking for, so thank you for that. And, uh... Quick little redraw. Swipe is not. We'll end our turn. Why is the tail in front? Oh, because it's, it's turning around, right? Uh, uh, how does a worm hit me with an acid flask? Forcing me to discard. Okay, th this is fine. Genuinely fine. After you play a move card, yeah, yeah, you always put that out there. But we are going to do some ice lance in here. So we're going to dump. Swipe on our hunter in order to play aggression on our warrior. Then our warrior will take a challenging stride to do some extra damage to the giant worm. We will then have an Ice Lance cause some chill. Minus one to movement and all damage dealt. Now we're talking. 
Why don't you do me a favor and uh, gain some willpower? In order to do an unstable blast right here, which also refunds our willpower. What is acid? Whenever acid's inflicted, deal one status damage per stack of acid. It worked. Check it out. I'm a genius. Look at all that willpower being generated. Then we'll dump a swipe and play battle ready instead. Now, let's look at this very clearly. Turkey acid. Come on. Come on. I think we're just taking six shivs here. This is going to be pretty violent. You might want to make sure the kids are looking away. Your safety is not guaranteed. It actually it looks like a scene out of Shaun of the Dead. We still didn't do that much damage. <laughs> Bash him with your cane, Scrooge. Well, that's pretty bad. Uh, we have lost our aggression ability. We're gonna die. Frickin' wormies. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna die. Um, adrenaline. When you do melee damage, gain willpower. That's a big one. Protector. Whenever this character defends itself, all other friendly heroes gain three defense. That's good stuff. You... Oh, I keep playing it on the wrong unit. You don't even do melee damage. How about you defend two after performing a melee attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snake build too strong? This is gonna hurt. My man's is he's so envious. Acid fog. All right, well, on the bright side, it hit all of them. So at least they can go down together. There goes the power I just played. Inflict weakened on all enemies. Uh, I'm starting to think I maybe shouldn't have gone through with this, like, right off the bat. Just, uh, just my hunch. I need... I mean, block is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Why are you using these cards? Oh, my God. Can you... I would like you to move. I know we just dumped our heroic card, but, like... You can't even play agile. You, you must simply get here, and then this is where it's going to get serious, man. So this should block for us. Oh, we don't have the willpower. Hold on. This should create some block for us, or am I insane? I'm not insane. You don't need that block. Well, I, I reject your block and substitute my own. Because we're weakened, we're literally doing no damage, which uh, seems pretty bad. But look at that. I did get to draw a bunch of cards. And, hey, hold on. I can light you on fire. There is that. At least you're on fire. I think we're now gonna die. But at least we've hurt him. Yeah, that's horrible. Goodbye, Sips. <laughs> This wasn't a situation where, like, we got close. This is a situation we, we were not even, like, in the ballpark. I'm dead. Head eyes. I'm dead. There you go. There you go. Good, good draw. We must hit you with a uh, with a blow to the head to get you to discard a power. That's something at least. 
literally we're, we're basically just stuck there. <laughs> That's terrible news. <laughs> Please just kill me. Like, I, just to be honest, there is a 0% chance I do 143 damage to you. You might as well just finish the job. Should have played that first, but I I don't think it's gonna matter too much. At least we're generating a little block, but every time that he uh, every time that he attacks, he removes all of our blocks. So I think it actually is irrelevant. Plus, mouth slowly dying to the fire lung. It's the red lung pop. Uh oh. All right, mouth has been destroyed by uh, acid. Move zero, defend one per space moved. Hmm. I choose to embrace death with honor. I mean, I am playing on the hard difficulty. I can't be too upset by how this worked, but... One HP dream. Hey, man, we got six HP. We have lost all of our powers. Like, he, he's just toying with us. That's what hurts the most. Look at this. Thanks for the willpower, dummy. I would like to defend six. Can I not def- Oh, defenseless may not gain defense. Well, that would explain it. Defend seven. How about if you just hit six? All attacks deal plus one damage. Melee attack six. All right. I- I- It's- Some people would probably tell you that it was my own hubris that caused that, and I- I can't necessarily disagree. We did- We got 74% of the way through the game. Well, dude, with, with an hour and 12 minutes, I'm telling you, we can repeat that and get to 100. If we just go fast enough, excuse me, it, it's doable. Wait, what happened to my good friend, Mouth? I don't want a warlord. <laughs> I, want a, I want a hunter. Reset name. He died? Yeah. So did I, though. This is Dan. <laughs> oh, is your party on the left side? Yeah, yeah. Yoink. Okay, there we go. Okay, game length standard. Difficulty was hard. Okay, now we know what we're doing. We start by running to the question marks. Offer food or, a, or an... Off, easiest choice of my life. Large quantity of food for some epic rewards. Now, we do only have one food left, but that's fine. I'll just, you know. What are you doing, Dad? Oh, I'm tightening my belt straps so I can't feel hunger pains. I suggest you do the same. Our warrior, which is me, gets a shield and a cool mace. Yeah, food is, is kind of... Well, actually, it's not that similar to fuel from FTL. Um, it's more like... Um, Camping in Darkest Dungeon. It, it lets you heal up your units and, and improve their morale and their stamina. I would like to sneak around to the front. Sips has been bowled over by a charging creature and the cart is dragged into the distance. Okay, Sips takes three damage. Way to go, Sips. Great job. We have enough gold to buy a food. I refuse to pay for a side quest. We continue to move on for our first our first boss fight. Intervene in a confrontation by confronting the ratlings. We we need to get engaged in some combat so we can level up before our boss fights. That's a given. Okay, now it's still we're we're much earlier on now. So it it should be a little easier to play. First melee attack, 
Each turn does plus two damage. Plus three damage. I mean, that's worth it in my world. What's prepare? Gain one willpower at the start of your turn. That's a butte. I've decided you should not be here. This is too close. You're going to take damage. Move two, gain one willpower. Force missile. I would like you to redraw. Strike through. We can hit you with strike through from here? If you insist. We do have two willpower. I mean, I, I guess if I wanted to destroy my cover, we could try that. I think I just passed, though. Anyway, long story short, yes, I have seen that episode of Kitchen Nightmares where the guy stole a quarter of a million dollars from his son to start a restaurant where he only serves frozen hamburgers. And uh, then the, the chef that they fired just is endlessly making Prozac jokes to the owner's wife. Like, no matter what she's... And, and admittedly, she's antagonizing him. Don't get me wrong, it's not coming from nowhere. Um... But no matter what the guy, what, what she says to him, he's always like, I got one word for you, Prozac, look it up. And she's like, I don't even know what that means. And he's like, you should look up Prozac. I got two words for you. Get help. Look it up. Maybe maybe up your Prozac prescription. He's just, he, he's going, he's just going off, man. It's a good episode. In fact, I would say it's better than a good episode. It's one of the all-time greats. I gotta, I gotta think my way through this one. We're not gonna need swipe. So we play focus. Get rid of the other swipe. Improvised attack. Allows us to do attacks for free. Like, so much of the game with the deck that we're rolling is about being able to do attacks uh, that refund themselves. I think we gotta put a little bit of a rush in on this one. I put you over here, quick little swipe. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Oops, just kidding. I acted like I... Uh, care about your well-being, but I don't because you're just a stupid little rattling anyway. That would not hit you. Okay. Did you relate with the sun? Uh, no, not at all. Um, I mostly just felt bad for him because his dad stole like a insanely life-changing amount of money to fulfill his weird boomer dream of owning a hamburger restaurant, but yet refusing to uh, at, at any point listen to criticism about how bad the frozen beef tasted. I mostly just felt, and honestly, like, just, it, it seemed like it was a very stressful life, just constantly arguing over and over. There's rumors going around that it's fake, just because it's so weird. I mean, if, if he was faking it, and, and he could be, for the record, but if he was faking it, that's really impressive. Um, because, like, the sun was in tears constantly. I'm not saying you can't fake crying. It's just, uh... I mean, you'd have to, you'd have to give credit where credit's due, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have 5 HP? Can we dump this and power shot you? That way you're dead. That's, that's an important one in my world. 3 HP, force missile... Two magic damage, but you'll take some extra. Okay, here's what you do. Here's what you do. I got it all figured out. You dump. You dump. You play a little unstable blast. You're torched. We we dump this. Oh, we didn't even need to, but look at that. He's he's mastered the game. No, I'm not talking about the kangaroo anymore, okay? It's uh Look, I can all agree to disagree. <laughs> I'm not saying the kangaroo's not real. I'm just saying I'm asking questions. Prove you're not a mannequin. 
Could a mannequin do this? I don't think so. Okay, I choose to level up myself. Yeah, that's pretty much all it could do. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I take all the loot. Thank you. All the loot is a single bone sword. Seems a little bit suspicious. If you'll excuse me, on, on my warrior, I wish to equip a metal plate. And uh, can anybody take a cool sword? Cool sword? No, okay, fair enough. Where the heck is my quest beacon, man? What have I done? Stay and confront the monstrous beast. <laughs> An enormous winged creature dancing around an elven tower still lit up with strange magic. I'm pretty sure this is how we just died. Um, but we're so early, you gotta try. It's just a devil moth. That's that's no big deal. That's so much easier than the uh, than the worm. Move two, defend three, gain one willpower, shuffle exhausted into your deck. No big deal. Prepare, gain willpower at the start of your turn. That's a gimme. Swipe. That's a gimme for me to poop on. Um. The moth will make their way over here. So I actually think it's a great idea to reshuffle. To try to just pick up some powers if possible. Power shot's pretty good, but... If you have the opportunity to get powers, they're, they're good to get. Guess what? Melee attack for three for no reason. No thank you. Two redraws. No powers. Should get rid of this and just take a little move up here then. Okay, fair enough. The worm was soul air. Could be. Could be. Fly, you fools. Swipe. Two damage. Nobody cares. Sips Sips can handle that. Preferably no no more than that. Preferably that would be the last one. Okay. I'm just, I'm just thinking, <laughs> trying to keep Sips alive here. Adrenaline. Every time you play a card that does melee damage, you gain willpower. That's a gimme. We're probably going to dump Force Missile in order to play Adrenaline. Then, dump Wild Swing to move. Dump one Advance. You're going to play your advance. Here's a, you do a swipe for free. Delicious combos. You do a swipe for free. Delicious combos. You do a swipe. This one will not... Well, actually, we'll start with this one. It's not going to be free. But it's something. Then we're going to swipe. We're going to freaking swipe you again, man. Look at this. Nice little combo strike. All this just to, just to hurt a stinky little moth. That could still just fly over to me uh, and kill Sips in a single hit. Attacks deal plus one damage per adjacent enemy. Move to any free space. That's terrible news. All right, beginning the journey all over again. <laughs> it's a good time to let you know, by the way. Exclamation point trials in chat. Go check out the game for yourself. It's 20% off. This time, I offer you a small bit of food. 
I'll admit, that time I, I was going a little heavy on the... I, I was playing a little too ambitiously, okay? I will absolutely buy... Lose Obsidian side quest? I refuse. You could have beaten that? Yeah, but I didn't want to be without sips forever, okay? I will stop these looters, though. Okay, turn one. Turn one's all about getting these powers out here. If you can play Adrenaline, you're a very happy individual. Prepare. Gain one willpower at the start of your turn. No real need to advance here. Prepare. You love to see it. Ah, uh, you know what? We can dump this. Dump this. Now we got focus as well. We got all sorts of powers coming out. If you survive the battle, they come back with an injury. You know what? I still think this is going to set us up better for long term. Well, there goes my power. How are you? That's from 50 tiles away. I don't believe you. I don't believe that hit me. I, I reject that and substitute my own. Okay, we, we have to be smarter about putting our our melee unit up in front there. Everyone's just, just going ham on sips, dude. It's, it's madness. Well, no matter what, we know we want sips in relative safety. I don't know about that one, but we had to do something. I don't know how safe this is, but it is something. Oh, we got our willpower back. That's right. Okay, hold on. Swipe won't quite kill you. Which is very unfortunate. Flame fan will. Mm, I'd rather not die, though. Can we... Hold on. Dump flame fan for movement? Unstable blast and this day won't work. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I, I choose to pass my turn. Which gives us the armor. Yeah, I have I have indeed played um, Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, but I've, I've never completed the game. I've stopped at the same spot, like, multiple times. Did you exit Fort Joy? Yes. I, I have exited Fort Joy two times. And no offense taken. Okay, this is a gimme. A move? Cantrip. Now magic is free to play. Don't quote me on that. Get rid of your swipe, because it's stinky. Not free to play, costs one less. There you go. Defensive stance. Defend two after playing a melee attack? Absolutely. We like to see it. You think I can get there? I can get here. Defend two after performing a melee attack. You like to see it. Then, power shot is like the play of the century. And then strike through. It doesn't quite get you, but it gets mighty close. Discard, don't play the energy. Get some extra armor. Now we're talking. We did. We played once with Mathis, and we played uh, once with Team Unity. Target character discards an active power. That's probably the best power for us to discard. They cannot move. No sweat. Discard exhausted. Get owns. You can't move. You can power shot. That's pretty good. Can you advance? Oh, you totally can move. My mistake. Probably because we blocked it, right? Okay. Now you can move. You can't move, though. Can I, can I do a quick redraw? I can absolutely do a quick redraw. Get swiped upon. Honestly... 
I think you should just hang back for now. Everything else is fine here. <laughs> I think Divinity's a great game. That's and, and uh, Macros. I apologize if you're still here, but uh, the the one thing about Divinity that I'm not a huge fan of is just oh, don't just say it because I'm here. Okay, the one thing about Divinity that I'm not a huge fan of is actually what a lot of people like about it, which is the amount of, of story that's present. Um, for me, that's why I was so excited. All cards deal plus one damage. For every character they hit. That's, there's some goodness there. Um, that's why I was so excited for the Tactics game. And then they, they put the Tactics game on indefinite hiatus. I choose to just rest. I thank you. It's not that I, like... I, I And everybody thinks they're being gaslit at all times, I guess. But uh, I, I, I hate to use the word. Hard battle plus food. I agree to leave the area. I, it's not that I don't like stories in video games. It's just that I find it a lot easier um, to interface with mechanics, especially when I'm streaming. I'll take free obsidian, please. AKA gold. Um, and it wouldn't bother me so much, but like, here's the thing. Sometimes people will just be like, why not just, if you like the combat, why not just like play the game for the combat? Well, because, like, chat is literally, like, the, anytime you skip past, like, one thing in lore, the discussion is just about lore. You know, oh, they skipped over it. They, they you To play a 30-hour game and skip so much of the dialogue, I think it would be, like, counterintuitive for the, uh, for the entertainment value of it. Like, the people that are in love with the story of the game get, like, very antagonistic if you don't sit there and wait for, like, every piece of uh, fully voiced dialogue to, to finish. So it, it takes away from the overall enjoyment for everybody, I think. You didn't talk to the crab on the beach? Hey! Hey! Hey, try taking the one where you, you know you can talk to animals. Are there any animals that you think you might be able to talk to? I don't want to spoil anything. I'm just going to tell you exactly what I want you to do and then let you act like you discovered it yourself. And if you don't do it, I'm going to cyber bully you. Hold on, I have to think. We're not dying to rattlings this time. This, I, I refuse to die to rattlings. So if you could excuse me and just hide yourself next to this cover, I would be a happy man. Let's dump these to redraw. Evocation. Uh, prepare an evocation. Both, both playable. And I think we'll... I think we'll pass. He's about to put the backwards hat on. Dude, I made the thumbnail for the uh, for the Game Lord 919 video. I'm now at the point where I'm just hoping everybody uh, gets the joke and doesn't think it's an unironic Zoms Royale video. I included the Snake RX uh, run in it because I think that was the uh, that sells the joke. But we'll see. <laughs> I've I've been. Uh, I've lampshaded some stuff like that before that some people uh, still have managed to surprise me with. Okay, that damage doesn't bother me too much. Prepare is fine. We, li we like prepare. Focus. Range attack 5. Focus, advance. Adrenaline is like a must play. Certainly more so than advance here. I need to find a way to get you into position, though. Probably a double strike gets dumped. This'll work. 
It'll start to work at least. I need to find a way to ice you. I, I'm gonna redraw on you, I think. That's exactly what we're looking for. There you go. Please don't attack, Sips. I'm begging you. Why don't you focus on this middle finger emoji? It really is the great equalizer. Please? Bro, I have, I have a very finite amount of carrots. Please stop shooting Sips in the throat. He can only weather so much of the storm. I'll tell you, yo, strike through is going to be sick here, though. Check this out. We hit two targets, we gain willpower. Unstable blast. Yo, 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 yo. hold on, hold on. Dump swipe. Oh, are you going to die in the process here? Is it worth it? I don't know. I mean, that's an extremely valuable play. I'm just begging for you not to uh, be killed. Yo, did you see <laughs> Demon Crawl developer is coming out with a, a Minesweeper auto battler? That's actually kind of incredible. I, uh, I, I'm still waiting for the FIFA auto battler, but the, I, I can, I can take a look at that one for sure. I don't follow hockey, but when was the last time a Canadian team won the cup and does Montreal have a shot? Um, well, the last time a Canadian team won the cup was in, uh, 1993 and it was actually Montreal that won way back in the day uh do they have a shot by traditional evaluations they shouldn't even be in the finals um they've they've beaten three teams that were definitely considered superior to them on paper including vegas and 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 toronto to be honest but vegas is uh you know definitely they were considered a favorite to win the stanley cup especially after they uh Especially after they took out uh, to, uh, b b Colorado. So really, anything can happen in a, in a three-game series. Or a, a seven-game series. I don't know what I'm talking about. I wish to... You're tired. Okay, hold on. We can upgrade things we're not even using. Move three rain. Oh, dude, that's pretty good, though. Hold on. Upgrade those throwing knives. And then let's actually equip them. Now we're talking. And then, Sips, I give you my permission to eat a carrot. For a dollar, eat a carrot. 33% food, 33% health damage in food. Well, I, I received nothing. So that, that would be the other 33%, I would suppose. I pay off this band so that I don't have to fight them right now and continue on my merry way. I require food. Thank you so much. Two of those means we can actually camp. We're going to have to camp out here. It will only restore a minimum amount of stamina. Can we camp when we get to the quest? Probably not. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First, is it the moth again? I can handle the moth. Okay, it's the elf first. Anyway, it would be... It would be... If Montreal goes on to win the Stanley Cup. It would be one of the biggest upsets in modern NHL history. For, maybe in history. 
they weren't just like the the bottom seed like in their conference they were the bottom seed in the entire league and were it a normal year like probably wouldn't have even made the playoffs so it's kind of a, a miracle run right now which is is very cool if you're into that sort of thing I don't like our starting draw. I think cantrip is important. Evocation can be important. Random ranged attack five is what scares me here. Oh, you can't use it unless you have a shot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't know if we should move this far up. This seems dangerous. Yeah, just by moving at all, we get there. Okay, that's good. I love evocation. Doesn't it look like the Jackie Chan meme? You know the one. I forget the subtitle, but... Why, why can't I hold all these limes? Adrenaline is more important than evocation, I think. So we'll just pass turn. My head is full of F. I, I love reaction images. I'm, I consider myself a bit of a connoisseur. Oh, who cares? Whatever. Little magic attack. What the heck is this? Mirror image at the end of turn. Create two illusory copies and swap with one at random. Hey, that's not so bad. Because that means it can't be you. So it's only a 50% chance that it's one of these guys. That's no big deal. So hold on, I'm stepping here. I'm swiping because we got adrenaline. You're not real. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Evocation's really important. So it must be you. Prepare is really good too. Focus, we don't need. You, you can dump. Oh, but it gives willpower. You can dump swipe first. We're never going to play this swipe. You can dump that. You can play focus. You can dump swipe. Play prepare. Power shot. Excuse me. Excuse me. It said it said swap with one at random. Excuse me. I dumped my focus by accident. My mistake. <laughs> it didn't swap. How random is that? Uh, admin, judge, judge, the card lied to me, kind of. Melee attack four. Draw a movement card from your deck or, or discard pile. What if I... Oh, I can't power shot you around this? I, um... Increasingly, I am coming to terms with the fact that I think we're gonna die again. But one thing we can do is uh, just fall back. I think keep your power shot. Redraw two cards. And then just fall back a little bit. Let them come to you. And remember, if you discard like everything, might be a little much. But you gain block for every card you discard. Fatigued is killing us too on this draw. Okay, you have forced me to discard a power from across the map. This doesn't seem like long term this is gonna... Um, this strategy is gonna work for us. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I was a little too uh, aggressive. I mean, uh, on this fight, I'm being way too passive. But I think in general, I was like a little too aggressive, uh, just trying to rush down the boss as quickly as possible. I bet Sips dies first. Hey, if that's... Uh, we actually landed a shot. That's a new one. If that's where we're at... 
If if I have to um, farm entertainment, please. Just by having you bet on who dies first. Above all else, I wish to be an entertainer, so... However you can derive enjoyment from that, by all means. Uh, by the way, if you bet on sips, congratulations. <laughs> Got quite strong, huh? You're not real. That's uh, frustrating. Um, line of sight to the target is blocked. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I could have told you that. But check this out. You ever consider just shooting that thing just for fun? Exhausted. Not, not the best card to draw in this context. It, it could be worse though. You could draw fatigued and then uh, exhausted right after. All right, we have to move the goalposts on this one because we are dead. Um, we, the, you might as well just restart this one. The, the best I could possibly do here, I think we could re-beat the first boss in the next 40 minutes. That's my expectation. That, that boss was hard, though, man. What if, what if we play short? <laughs> The mountain ranges of ash can impede your travel, but if you look carefully, you may be able to spot entrances to ash's underways. Look out for these by looking for the telltale signs of fog and water. Look at that. I will battle. Why are you playing on hard? This is not about winning, it's about learning. I would honestly rather play a game that... You know, I mean, Slay the Spire, like, condition me. If you lose, like, 70 times and win twice, like, that ratio is okay with me. Instead of just being, like, click, 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 I win, click, 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 you know, ill-gotten gains in that regard. I mean, I, the other thing is we were doing so well on our first attempt until I fought that elite that I, uh, I was of the opinion that, uh, that I was better than I am. I, I mean, many people in chat said it's, he's the greatest gamer that we've ever seen. Their words, not mine. Wait, what if, what if, hypothetically, you gave me a movement card? You see, that's what I'm looking for right here. Just a simple movement card. Two energy remains. Why don't you take a defensive stance? I mean, why why do you even have swipes in your deck? That's the real question here. I think you should discard for some block. You know what? You might as well discard for some block. Let's have everybody get some blocks here. Slight bit of damage to a warrior? I can take it. Born to shiv, forced to swipe. Here I sit broken hearted. Hope to shiv, but only farted. Um, okay, what, what worked for us the first time I played through the game? The first time I played through the game, the number one thing was combo strikes. You just get some combo strikes going. Like for example, Wait, do you have defend two after performing a melee attack? Why do you cost three? That's the thing that gets me. Wild swing, three to six damage, cost three? Get out of my face, you big disgrace. Then, heavy swipe energy. Heavy swipe energy. Deal two magic damage to all adjacent enemies whenever the cultist takes damage. That's unfortunate. Combo strike? 
This is like, it's the most annoying enemy in history. Well, it, ranged attack three, it won't even, it won't even kill you to play this. Please. <laughs> Please. My HP. Now, I did make the classic streamer sin of complaining about taking damage, but doing absolutely nothing strategically to change it. That's all right. This is what God made carrots for. Even this is a little spooky, because, like, you know, it, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. This should kill you. You still had the volatility afterwards, which is not surprising, but unfortunate. Oh, we should have moved you up. This is... Well, no. We can't even get you there without some sacrifices. I'm like, this one is done. <laughs> this one might be done already. Am I losing my mind? This, this enemy is so strong. Three to six damage. You're fine. So you honestly... Go ahead and discard all this for momentum. I can hit you for something, but it's not enough. I honestly, straight up with one enemy remaining, I think we discard everything to get a meager amount of block and then pray for the best. Okay, this should be fine. But it, it, it temporarily uh, had me feeling a certain sort of way for sure. Okay, we're never going to have the energy to play this, so please go. You go there. Now we have a combo attack. That's great news. We could also light you on fire. Not enough willpower. That's true. Now we have enough willpower. Now that you're on fire, I'm a little happier. We gotta get double strikes in there for combo strike purposes. I genuinely... Okay, you're actually dead. We lived... Thank the Lord. And even better, we did also receive... Yo, Goat is, was not so bad. Weakened, actually. Weakened is what I'm looking for. Please eat. Please eat. I hate that you're, you're taking these carrots already, but it is what it is. Don't forget about side quests. Don't forget about side quests. Food shop, but 50% health damage. I, I take an attempt... I receive many pieces of loot and a carrot. Do I buy do I buy a broken charm? No. Yes, okay. But I, I must equip. Weapon belts. Create three shiv cards. Yo. Shiv is no joke. Novice gravity tome. I thought this said notice gravity tome. I get you can't see it too well, but uh, you know, uh, it had me in my head going like, you know, ooh, ooh, ooh notices your gravity tome. Deal two damage and inflict shocked. Can you hold two? No. Ryan. <laughs> I know, dude, when, when stream uses my real name instead of NL, that's how I know I crossed the line. Hard battle and food. This one, we're not doing out of ambition. We're doing it because I think we need to level up in order to have a good chance. Now I'm, I'm using my brain, and I'm thinking, okay? The first thing I think is we should be using our hunter way more commonly to do better damage. And then adrenaline is a great one to play. I'm going to redraw as our... Uh, warrior, or sorry, as our elementalist. Didn't get what I wanted, we'll pass turn. But I'm happy with how that started, believe it or not. Move four, defend one per space moves, no big deal. Uh, I'm fighting Dave Grohl 
from uh, Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll play for about another half hour, and then we'll finish out with another Mario Golf tournament. I'll probably die six or seven times in the, in the meantime there. We'll see. Move two, then draw. I think I could probably kill you. You're never going to swipe. He will never swipe. Play a cantrip. Discard a swipe. Man, Blaze Swarm... Okay, but hold on. You're never going to get the energy to play that. Use your Force Missiles. Also hit him. Wonderful news. We got our willpower back. You do me a favor. I wouldn't mind doing a little uh, quick step to gain some willpower. I, I, I like where I stand. I like where I stand right now. But I'm going to move one closer. You have... Yeah, you get one willpower back. So this is free. This is not free, but only costs one. And then strike through still works, which made you lose your power. Every time this character is damaged, move two spaces towards the attacker and gain plus one damage. Probably should have read that first. Whatever, though. Okay, we've been forced to discard. Or, no, they've been forced... Melee attack 8! Are you crazy? What are you talking about? Just out of nowhere. Prior to that, everything was like 2 damage. And I was like, I can absorb 2 damage. This one was like, just out of nowhere. It's like, oh, kill you. He's too strong, man. The, the Dave Grohl power. Well, I'll take my willpower. We can live. We can live. I believe. Just make sure you're you're falling back, okay? If I hit him, he'll move towards me and get stronger, so we don't play that. What did we draw? We drew swipe again. This is like hob voice, are you kidding me? <laughs> No, I'm not frustrated. I'm frustrated with myself, if anything. Let's put it that way. I'm I'm playing a little recklessly. Don't break my power, please. I live. My power may break. My power did break, but I, I lived. Jerry, I drew the swipe. I discarded the swipe. You know what I drew, Jerry? I could guess. Swipe again, Jerry. Swipe again. Okay, check this out. The target is out of range. Check this out is what I would have said if I was about to do a cool thing. Discard. Move one. Unstable blast. Get swiped upon. You're destroyed. You stink. Get power shotted. No, you know what? Yeah, no. Mm. You know what? I'm going to put up a slight bit of block and not buff him and have him move towards me. Move four, defend one per space moved. Melee attack two. Does nothing to me. Okay, this is what it's all about. We start by lighting you on fire. Then you take extra damage from magic. Also, this will push you away. So maybe before I push you away... We make sure we get some combo strikes going here. Now we're talking. Then we push you away. Which also... Okay, so it did not push you away. But it did push me away. But check this out. Discard. Power shot. Move four. No. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Ben. 
How you gonna let Jake Paul do you like that, man? Swipe. Not not really what I was looking for, to be honest. Go ahead. Wait, face me. What are you gonna do? Nine damage in a single hit? I doubt it. Melee damage, four. Defend, four. I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. I'm not afraid. Look at this. I just have to do nine damage to him. More damage than I've, I've ever done in my entire life. Hello, Ross. Did <laughs> Ross has a great uh, Discord cameo in, a, in an upcoming video. By the way, I haven't replied to your message yet. But when you said sorry for ruining the video, I promise you, you did not ruin it. If anything, you just made it... Uh, you made it that much more engaging. It's it's very good. I I can't I can't do enough damage to kill him. So he's just going to kill me instead. Unless maybe I could like push him back. Like I can definitely swipe you. And I can definitely hit you with this. And then, you know, thanks for the willpower that will last no time at all. Maybe we're actually gonna make it? It's a, it's a dangerous... It's a dangerous thing, Hope. Oh, I... I'm... I thought that was a hex that we could... Move to. Um, that's bad. Well, we're in like, kind of a stalemate. Which I have to be honest, could be worse. I'm just waiting for him to eventually draw that card that's like do eight damage and 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 I die. But for now, it's it's kind of working. I can at least escape to here. I only have four HP, man. I can't. I can't hit him because if I hit him, he gets stronger. I gotta discard so I can get some HP back, <laughs> or get some block back. He doesn't have a super card, you just did a bunch of damage to him on a previous turn. Okay, okay. Well, in that case, get owned for five. And then I choose to run away. I know what you're thinking. Am I stupid? The answer is undetermined as of the time being. We're about to see. I'm either stupid or I'm the smartest I've ever been in my entire life. God, he's defending again. <laughs> please, please. If you answer that, 24 hours permanent. Just stop gaining so much block. I can't even punch through your, your normal attack. That's actually huge. Although it still did no damage. Okay, can we do five damage to this guy in a single turn? Not only can I not, um, but I also am about to die in this corner because I can only move one space. So we just have to put up a block and hope he doesn't draw an attack. Okay, if you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving now. Um, he'll be rebuilding his block. Quite prodigiously, in fact. Okay, if you don't mind, I'll just power shoot you from across the map. All 
All right. We're going to run it back one more time. Again, this is... Uh, I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm just actually getting my ass beat. Um, because I'm underestimating all the enemies. Let's maybe crank the difficulty down to medium. This is uh, Trials of Fire! Exclamation point Trials in chat. And uh, go check it out. It's 20% off right now. Very positive reviews on Steam. Also available on GOG. And, uh, and the Epic Games Store. A game of hoops. I spend 20 gold to join the game. I spend 60 to raise the stakes. And I have been had and I lose all of my gold. Okay. Many people will say you should not have started your adventure by losing literally seven-eighths of your net worth in a game of basketball to a bunch of ratlings. I, in hindsight, would be very inclined to agree with you. But for the time being, we're stuck where we stand. Sips, use your elemental powers to allow me to approach the fissure safely so we can get a stone maul and a, a, a piece of good wood. Oh no, I'm not, I'm using, Shauna? When the heck did Shauna get here? I, f I forgot to, to launch it with, uh, with mouth. My mistake. I tell them I wish to buy items of the market. Little do they know, I do not wish to buy items of the market because I don't have enough money to do anything. Instead, I will continue to locomote across the board. All right, chat, what do you think? We have not completed a single elite battle. Battle herbs legendary reward. Why not? It's medium difficulty. That's a, I'm glad that that was the first thing I read. It's but a simple moth. Now I'm ready. Now I'm prepared. Okay. Inspire? Grant inspired to a friendly ally. That's, that seems... I love... Dude, this... Think! Look at what they do to get just a fraction of our power. I move one. I inspire the warrior. Bash is really good too. Doesn't Bash look like um, the slap reaction image? So many of these are, are reaction images. Check this out. It's a little risky. I'm not going to say it's not risky. But... Getting a good a good amount of damage out there right off the bat. Quick little redraw. Wow, that is not so good. <laughs> My bad. Fly. Uh, you could have just walked. It was two spaces away. No, that's my fault for, for going over there choosing to fight a moth near a, a light source. That's my bad. Now, you should get the heck out of there. But also, I think before we do that, I'm probably going to light you on fire. Quick one of these. Quick one of these. Oh, not enough willpower. That's fine, that's fine. Overhead slam is never making it out here. Dude, we can power shot. This is exciting. There we go. I don't know if that'll actually put up a blocker, but I think it's reasonably likely that Sips will actually live here. Yeah, go ahead. Swipe me. See if I care. One damage. Okay, fly is bad. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Take a little damage. Not that big of a deal. Honestly, not that big of a deal. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, you're on fire.
This is a, yeah, I'm, I'm going for the kill. I'm, I'm going in too deep for the kill. I'm going in way too deep for the kill. Do not do this. Literally just just back up and then do this two times. <laughs> just try to preserve your elemental uh, your elementalist for more than two seconds. Okay. That's a better idea. Defend. Attacks do more. Defend. This is great news. Melee attack four. That hurts, but and then leave? You have delayed Sip's death, Sip's death by one turn. I believe you were probably right. But you gotta try. Consider yourself... Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't consider you inspired. We're never going to use swipe. That's a given. I think I advance here. And you're going to have to hear me out on this one. Because I want to do unstable blast. Then maybe hit you with a quick swipe. Because it gives us our, our willpower back. I don't know. I feel like I might still be dead. We'll see. At least we broke their power. Has NL ever played one step from Eden? Who's going to tell them? No, I think you're right. I think I overstated the value of advance uh, for a long time. Because literally it has the same effect as discarding a card. But in my head, I was like, this is the greatest card that money can buy. I don't know why, but I was just like, this is the greatest. No, no card ever created has ever been more valuable than this. On the bright side, we actually did manage to kill the moth. Everybody took way too much damage in the process, but hey, legendary spectral mace. A mystic herb. Fury of elements, deep freeze. Lightning bolt. I mean, give me that spectral mace, man. I, I want it. Then take all. We have four foods. You gotta eat one. You gotta eat one. And then... Maybe you can equip this cool mace? Yeah, why not? An aged leather armor? I'm going to put that on yours truly. And then, you know, this is called the uh, hand-me-downs. Although, actually, prepare is really good. What does this give us? Defend two after performing a melee attack? No, no, no. Prepare is better there. The, the little RPG hand-me-down. Where, like, a, a one of your units gets better armor and then you just kick the can down the road um while tracking through the desiccated forest you hear an unnatural wailing coming from deeper in the trees does the arrow mean the character can level up thank you thank you <laughs> appreciate it ice lance is a big one i take my attempt ryan covers her ears her ears and barges open the door with her shoulder the sound doubles in intensity, and Ryan blacks out, but the unnatural sound continues to reverberate in her head. Shaken. On draw, discard another random card from your hand. That's terrible! <laughs> what a rip! Um, I leave before the shadows can coalesce, but I also choose to rest. Um, and I will meditate, and perhaps... What happens if you upgrade Inspire? Cost zero? That's exactly what I'm looking for. 
I will break camp. They're tired already? What's your problem? Has NL ever watched Norbit? <laughs> I've been known to, to, to watch Norbit from time to time. Who's your favorite character? Mine is uh, Respucia. I find Respucia really speaks to the... You know, the folly of the human condition. My favorite character is the turkey ass. Um, it You know, it plays a small but pivotal role. I will give you some food for a small reward. Thank you. We do not have a hunter. As a result, I'm not sure the crossbow will work. But either way, we pretty much have to rest. At least they're merely drained. Yeah, you can take one of those. Why not? This is bad news. <laughs> I'm very pessimistic about our ability to succeed. Mm, hard battle, epic reward. Battle reward. Let's, let's just do basic battle. We're already like a heavily... Uh, we, we're desiccated from a walk in the desert. We're discarding like every card we pick up. Whatever I can get, I'll take. Ice Lance attacks in front of us. What are you guys? Hybrid Slavers? Hopefully no ranged attacks, although I know already that that's like... Um, it's folly to believe that will be the case. But this is the formation I want, at least. Look at that, okay. More fatigue. Dude, the fatigue is horrible. <laughs> it's actually abysmal. Ruins of Pompeii. I really thought my this edible ain't crap tweet would, would catch up to Twib's Pompeii tweet. But it has not happened yet. Did I say Twib instead of Chib? I didn't know. And he's here. How embarrassing. Mods, disable uh, clips, please. Twibbly. Oh, no, oh, no. I said his real name. Okay, this is a gimme. You, you swipe yourself out of this. That's the wrong character. You advance yourself out of this. Dump the can trip. To move to the side. Hit him with an ice lance. What is elite? Your class talent is quite twice as effective? I'm just coming to terms with the fact that yet again, I'm, I think I'm going to get my ass beat. Clash is good. Deals dumb, double damage if the target has any defense or is chilled. So that's top tier. However, everything else, <laughs> I think I think we're about to get destroyed, bro. I got nothing. At least like I don't know, you got ten HP. I'm <laughs> destroyed. Oh. I, discard, at least you can get involved, and then I, I guess, like, dump overhead slam for now. I'm waiting for Chib to reveal his real age. He can't be that young, because after playing a few hours of uh, Tokyo 2021, he was starting to complain about his repetitive stress injuries, which is like, I mean, I felt the same way, but I, I did relay last night. I'll have you know. I have uh, 100, 100, 193 with full sp perfect speed boosts as my, my relay record. It was good enough for 15th worldwide. Well. No, that's not Pog. I was extremely upset that I did not get first. I was because it took me like an hour and a half just to get that. And then I was like, I got to go to bed, man. It's too much. 
Unblockable ranged attack 3. If you spend 0 willpower for this card, remove defense equal to damage dealt. These enemies have too much armor. I am going to die. Everybody discard everything you have to at least move in front <laughs> so you can block for for uh, for your mage but I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going down I'm glad NL is just as bad as me at this game dude I honestly I this is a medium which is it's throwing me for a loop but I was like I thought we were crushing it The first attempt, the only reason we died is we went up against an enemy with like 900 more HP than I thought. And then, ever since then, it's just been a disaster. I'm washed up. Well, there goes the main character. Fatigue is, is killing me for sure. I, I wouldn't dispute that. It's a bit risky, but it's also like the only way I see us getting out of this. Um, I'm I'm sure you're gonna die. I'm sure we're all gonna die, but it will uh, bring an end to this with uh, fortuitous timing. That's for sure. Just seeing Sip's face, like it's so he's so disappointed in me. All we got is Shala. She's not even a named character. Target discards one card for every two damage taken. <laughs> okay. Well, discard one card. Uh, and then, are we really going to do this song and dance again where I'm just going to back away slowly? At least this time there's three of them. Oh yeah, and they, they've got cards that suck us in as well. So um, this, this is, I think this is pretty much over. Wow, I, I mean, I, it's a testament to the game. I, I uh, underestimated the difficulty. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I, I just, I choose to end my turn. I don't, I don't want to rage quit, but at the same time, like mathematically, I, just stop zooming in on the fatigue card. <laughs> Every time it just rubs it in my face. I was just looking at the math of, of what I had versus the math of what they have, and I'm like... I, I, I feel like playing my cards is a recipe for disaster. There goes my power, okay. You're gonna let me play one more turn? I appreciate that, thank you. I choose to uh, walk away. I'm making a good faith effort. Who knows what we could find over here? <laughs> Your hero versus the enemy she told you not to worry about. Well, there you go. Dude, I did. Here's your, your title for this one when the VOD comes to YouTube. The hardest deck builder ever created. That's Trials of Fire, exclamation point. Trials in chat, 20% off on Steam. Very positive reviews. Cool hybrid of board gaming, deck building, and RPG mechanics. It's out on GOG and Epic now, as well as Steam. It's 20% off, exclamation point. Trials, go check it out. For now, um, we're going to finish off the stream.